G'day YouTube, Turbo Tristan here, and aren't you guys lucky? We've got two black Toyota 2J, Lexus Toyota 2JZ powered things in two videos this week. So all the Toyota fangirls, you'll be loving this. This is a Tom's Aristo, so a special edition. It's like a Mugen version or a Nismo version. This is the Tom's version, twin turbo, 2JZ Aristo, and we're gonna fit those to it. Hey, Iverson, you already jumped on the car. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Yes, that's right. Two Toyotas. They're both black. They both have two JZs in them. This one has the two JZ GTE, as the number plate suggests. Uh, it's also way bigger than um, my Lexus. This one's got some pretty sick Buddy Club P1 wheels on there with the Tom's center caps. Big ass Aristo brakes all custom done. That's got the tint. It's been raining today. I'm not gonna chamois the car off because this one belongs to Trung, my workmate who the OGs would remember had the 3S GTE number plate on his Toyota Caldina wagon, which was tidy as. That video, we did we did two videos on that car. One, how to fit a blow off valve to a 3S GTE. And uh, just a quick little review on it. Uh, nice summer's day. And uh, that netted me about 20,000 views because of a pretty unique car and there's not a lot of videos on YouTube about them. Same goes with this one. This one is the Tom's Aristo. Try catch that badge there. Uh, this is a legit Tom's edition. Black Pimp DeVille twin exhausts. Same sort of lights as the Lexus IS300, but this is a big daddy. This car is way, way bigger. And under the hood is the 2JZ twin turbo. We'll get a look at that later on. Just a little bit of a background on the car. This one, again, belongs to Trung. He's my workmate. He's a little bit camera shy. So he's dropped it off to my place. He's got to do family stuff. Tonight, we're gonna to fit some Super Pro roll control sway bars to his car. He reckons it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. So we're gonna throw it up on the hoist, have a look at what we're working with, whip out the old ones, line them up side by side, and then uh, throw the new ones in. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. When it's a bit warmer and drier, I have spoken to Trung, he's agreed to let me take the car and do a bit of a review on it, a bit of a drive, a bit of a walk around and show you all the features. So if you do want to see that, make sure you comment and like this video, even share it to your buds. And we'll get to doing some real features and some more performance stuff with this. We're going to do uh, probably a full exhaust, all that sort of stuff to this car. So if you want to see it, let me know, like, and comment about it, and we'll get it done. What sort of things do you want to see? What type of mods do you want done to it? I'm not paying for it, so uh, we'll G Trung up and we'll get it done. Alrighty, she's up in the air. Let's take a look under this big girl. Alright, so let's check out this beast. I've noticed here that Trung's actually had these center caps 3D printed. They look amazing. He's also had the rims refreshed and refurbished and repainted in a custom gray. He's even gone ahead and got some hectic little uh, caps for the valves. It's all about the details with Trung. What we're doing today is we're changing the front sway bar. So that looks like there's a mount up there, a couple of bolts there that should come off and all the way underneath here up to the back, there's the mounts there on each side. And then we've got this puny little sway bar. So that one there doesn't look like it's too hard to take out. While we're under the car, let's have a look. It's got a bit of an exhaust. Nice. Extra chassis bracing everywhere. You can see here there's a massive under chassis brace. That's real beefy. Wow. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take off that under tray, have a look at the front sway bar, 
We'll get that out. We'll unbox them side by side, check out the measurements, all that sort of stuff, and get it on the car. We don't want to muck around. It is a Tuesday night. It is bloody freezing, and uh, we've all got better, warmer, cozier things to do on a winter's night in Melbourne. So let's get it done. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Um, famous last words. There's a whole bunch of these small 10 mil screws that you need to take out of the under tray. The reason you need to take the under tray off is because there's, see so they're the screws that they come out. There's some side deflectors there and then under tray all here. You need to actually take off these two mounts here to drop the sway bar. And then you've got your sway bar links just in there. So hopefully you could see that, but that's why you need to take those trays off. So over to the rear, you just take out the sway bar link there, and then there's two bolts just here that take the sway bar out. Uh, on one side, being that this car has HID lights, there's a little sensor, um, which just helps level your headlights out. So pretty easy, you didn't need to drop the exhaust or anything, which was a bonus, just sort of finessed it uh, over those pipes. Here they are on the ground side by side. Now. I said it before, these are super pro sway bars, Aussie designed. Uh, now let's measure them. So over to the vernier calipers or very near calipers. The new one that we're putting on here is a 30 mil. The old one is a 29 mil so it's gone up one mil i can tell you though the new ones are much heavier so heavier gauge of steel mean meaning that they will uh, flex less and give better control in the back it's a noticeable difference pinky size finger size so this one here standard oe is 15 mil and the upgrade is 19 mil so we've got up four mils in the back and the back one is also adjustable so soft medium and hard i've put it on the softest setting for trung now it's just a matter of putting them back in in the reverse fashion i've used all the assembly grease greased it up to the max so no squeaks or anything like that so that's all good time to get this back up on the car all right all right all right well that was the quickest Toyota job I think I've ever done. Uh, these went on really well, really easily. The trickiest bit was trying to hold everything up and do the nuts and bolts up with only two sets of hands. If I had an extra pair of hands, it would have been even quicker and easier. But here we go, we're all on. I used some brand new sway bar links in the rear. The front ones had some split boots. So, they were there, I thought better use them. Sorry Trung, your OE ones were a bit shagged. So we've swapped them out. Nicely greased up. Those aren't going anywhere. I did actually snap a bolt. So you've got a strong Honda bolt in there now, mate. So that is not gonna break. Whereas these ones, all I did was just tighten it up and just snapped straight off. Tidy righty became tidy loosey real quick but um yeah she's good now so that's that everything's done i'm going to chuck those under trays on keep the aerodynamics and all the heat and cooling management and everything sorted once that's done i'll throw it back on the ground and show you guys under the hood of this pretty special car and as mentioned we'll get some more footage of it later on once the weather clears up a bit oh damn she's back on the ground and this is it. This is the 2JZ no shit powered Aristo. We've got a strut tower brace, which is a factory item from Tom's. Trung's gone ahead and fitted a Davies Craig trans cooler. Otherwise pretty stock with the cat back exhaust. It's going to get a uh, downpipe and cat high flow cats done on it. Um, he's done quite a few service items, brand new belts, this, that all the rest you know how it goes one thing i'd definitely change would be uh get some alloy intercooler pipes made up maybe a i don't know some kind of choo-choo 
alloy pipe for the intake so you can hear a bit of turbo noises but otherwise man after driving my lexus around for the past week or so this thing with a twin turbo 2j would be off its dial i reckon as a daily cruiser so comfy so stylish mad sleeper no one would even see it coming even with the full body kit slammed on cusco coilovers body club wheels the big brakes the cat back all that it's pretty quiet now we've got sway bars so we can handle but man that 2jz turbo power people are going to start thinking that this is a toyota channel it ain't this is probably the easiest one that I've ever worked on, to be honest. Um, and I'm not touching anything really hard. It's just been sway bars. So yeah, we're definitely still gonna stick to everything with a turbo. So it's gonna be Skyline power next. On the channel, BMW power, Honda power, Toyota power. If it's cool, if it goes fast, if it's got a turbo, even better. That's the job done, record time. If I didn't have to film it, probably would have taken me around about 35 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour max. Um, because I was filming, it took me around two, two and a bit hours. But that's it for now. Don't forget to spool up, bring the boost. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to see more of this car, do some driving, drop a comment below. And I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.